A strong focus of Alpha Group Consulting is not just the selling of a soil moisture probe, but actually interpreting the data and we can really assist clients working out how to set their refill points, when to irrigate and perhaps changing the irrigation strategies. So what we're looking here at here is a, a stacked soil moisture probe graph. Each of these lines will represent one of the sensors. So we've got the top sensor, which is 10 centimetres, the second sensor, which is 20, the third sensor, which is at 30 centimetres, and so on. We can see that there's been an irrigation event go on here, but it's only just touched the 40 centimetre sensor. The subsequent irrigation, which would have been the same size irrigation, another 50 mil event, has quite comfortably reached the fourth sensor, so 40 centimetres. We come back again with another 50 mil irrigation. This time, we not only go to 40 centimetres, but we push beyond to 60 and just start nudging 80 centimetres. And then the next one lifts the profile again. Through the season, we then want to look at start trying to mine that moisture. It's quite easy to fall into the trap of not realising that you haven't got refill to depth. So if you stretch these irrigation events out too far, you'll never get to the point where you can actually recharge your moisture to depth. <clears throat> By looking at the shape of these graphs, we can determine whether we've got uh, moisture holding at that depth or whether it's pushing below the root zone. So you can see with a shape like this, we can see that the moisture levels have gone up quite dramatically, but they've dropped off very quickly as well, which indicates that the moisture is pushing past that zone. In these sections here, we can see that the moisture levels have increased, but flatlining. So that's telling us at this point the moisture is hanging on quite comfortably so we know that we've got no drainage past the root zone and we can be confident that we're not wasting any water. So one of the critical parts about looking at the data on a stack graph is actually determining where your crop is using moisture from. Early in the part of the seed season we actually don't really want the crop to be using moisture from depth. The moisture needs to be more freely available so that it will promote better vegetative growth. Once we get to the point where we're starting to push the crop into flower, we want to force it to use the moisture from depth. So you can see at this point here, we've actually got stepping occurring at that stage, quite clear stepping at the 60 sensor, and that's forcing the crop to draw moisture from depth. And then if we go back to the graph, we can see that we've got the usage there, we've irrigated, and then we're forcing it to use it again prior to irrigating and then once again. So this is the key flowering phase for the crop and it's critical that we actually force it to use that moisture from depth, not just this freely available shallow moisture.